What's up you guys? So in today's video we're going to be talking about how to remove blackheads from your face with products that you probably already have in your kitchen or they could be in your bathroom. Either way, the point of this video is getting rid of those pesky blackheads with stuff that you already have at home so you don't have to go out and buy those pore strips. I know there's actually a lot of controversy on those like Biore or P Biore? Biore? The pore strips that they sell in the drugstore, a lot of people say that they actually cause blackheads to develop quicker or worsen or all different types of things. So believe it or not, I actually get requested a lot to come out with a video on how I personally remove my blackheads. And I just wanted to give you guys a couple of different ideas. I didn't just want to give you guys one way that you could get rid of them. So in today's video, I'm going to show you five different ways that you can get rid of your blackheads. Before we get into that, let's have a little bit of an educational segment right here and discuss what exactly is a blackhead. So a blackhead is actually an area of the skin that has a little opening in it and that opening is filled with bacteria, sebum, which is basically oil, and different types of skin debris. Now the opening in your skin actually allows air to hit all that junk that is within that hole and that causes oxidization and that basically turns your blackhead black. If there is not an opening in the skin and you still have all that junk stuck there, then you have a lovely whitehead. Now both are ugly, both are unsightly, and people tend to get them in areas where they are the most oily naturally. So that is our forehead, the nose, which is a big problem area for most people, the skin around your nose and even on your chin. The best way to avoid getting blackheads and whiteheads in the first place is just washing your face every single morning and every single night. That pretty much will avoid the oil, the debris, the bacteria from building up in the first place. But if you already have the blackheads and you're not looking to prevent them, but you're looking for how to treat them, then I got you. Here are five different ways that you can get rid of them. So the first one is going to be an egg white mask. So egg whites form an easy mask that temporarily tighten pores, which reduces the chance of future blackheads and whiteheads, and it also removes the current ones. Egg whites are also full of nutrients that are great for your skin. All that you're gonna need is one egg, toilet paper, a bowl, a fork to mix it all up with, and a brush to apply it with. You're gonna separate the egg white from the yolk and apply a thin layer onto your skin, then immediately, right after, don't let this stuff dry. Right after, you're gonna take a little piece of toilet paper and press it right on top of where you put the egg white, and then right over that, you're gonna put another layer of the egg white and repeat again. You're gonna repeat this anywhere from three to four times, so you have a bunch of layers built up. You're gonna let it sit there and dry for about five minutes, and after that, you're just gonna peel it away. All right, so tip number two is the same type of concept, but instead of showing you guys and demonstrating this one on my face as well, I'm just gonna tell you guys how it works because I didn't wanna peel two things off of my face and overly irritate my face. You definitely just wanna do one or two of these, not all of them. So this strip is actually a honey and milk pore strip. Honey has antibacterial properties and milk has lactic acid, which basically breaks down dead skin. So for this, you're gonna need a tablespoon of raw honey, a tablespoon of milk, and a strip of cotton. So again, the whole concept is pretty simple and similar to the last one. You're gonna mix up your honey and your milk. You're gonna take that and pop it into your microwave for five seconds. Nothing longer than that. When I first tried this, I put it in for 10 seconds and it was basically boiling hot. I don't know what it is, but honey heats up really fast. So five seconds, you're gonna mix it up, apply that right onto your problem area. I'm demonstrating for you guys on my nose area because that's where I get most blackheads, but if you have them on your forehead, on your chin, on your cheeks, definitely just go ahead and apply it to whatever your problem area is. So you wanna put a pretty generous heaping of it onto your skin, then you're gonna take that little cotton pad and apply it right directly on top and press it pretty firmly down. Now with this pore strip, you're gonna stop right there. You're not gonna go ahead and apply another layer of the honey and milk on top. You're gonna to leave it just like that for about 20 minutes and then you're gonna peel it off. After you do any of these type of DIY pore strips, you wanna go ahead and wash the area off with warm water and then apply a moisturizer right on top because some of them can be a little bit drying. Okay, so the third tip right here, I use this little container right here. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. It was empty, so I used the container to make my own lemon toner. And this one is a little bit more of a preventative way to avoid getting blackheads or whiteheads because it basically shrinks down your pores. So lemon is actually a natural toner which restores your pH balance and it's also highly antibacterial. So what I did was mix five parts distilled water 
water, which basically just means that I boiled it up first and then it's distilled. Then I squeezed in one part lemon and I use this as my toner every single morning and every single night. It's a great natural astringent. It's shrinking down my pores and also helping me to avoid those blackheads and whiteheads. Number four. So you can always use baking soda and water and kind of mix it up into a paste and it's gonna work as a really good exfoliator, but I like to kick it up a little bit more of a notch or two notches or three notches. So what I like to use is actually a baking soda toothpaste. You do not want to use, and I repeat, do not want to use a mint toothpaste anywhere on your face because it's literally gonna burn like hell. So again, I'm using my baking soda toothpaste and I'm mixing in a sea salt. So basically you're making it into a scrub. So compared to just using baking soda and water, this is more exfoliant, more antibacterial, and overall even more effective. And last but not least, if you are looking to get rid of blackheads and whiteheads, I definitely recommend clay masks. I have three of them here. They're all made out of bentonite clay, which basically hardens up on your skin and helps draw out the impurities physically out of your skin. They also improve the overall circulation and health of your skin. So I do have three of them here. And in the little demo, I did show you guys the Pure Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask. It's a great one. Another one of my favorites is by Made From Earth, and this is called the Sea Kelp and Clay Correcting Mask. And the two of these are very simple and easy to use straight out of the jar. Another one that I do recommend, this one is so, so popular, and it is called the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay basically a powder. I do have a full video on this, maybe from like four or five years back. So excuse me that the quality is like basically crap, but I did demonstrate on my sister exactly how to use this mask. Another great thing is that you can mix it up with apple cider vinegar, which kicks it up even more. These type of mud masks just really get all the gunk and built up degree. degree. These type of masks just really get all the built up debris and gunk out of your face. So they are definitely great to treat or prevent getting blackheads and white. Head. All right, so those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. If you have an amazing tip on how you personally treat your blackheads and whiteheads or how you avoid getting them or prevent getting them, definitely let us know in a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Also, if you guys have any requests for problems that you're having that you would like me to share tips with you on how to solve or any type of like TMI topics that people are afraid to talk about or just anything in the world that you would like to see a video on, definitely let me know and I will see you guys all soon. Mwah.